We have a fully loaded video for you here today on the 40 Year Sim. I am Nutty Sports Gamer. Welcome to episode 99. We got the NBA Finals and the NBA Draft in one video. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. And right away, let's jump into game one of the 93 Finals. Bulls Suns, here we go. Here's Manning. Here's Doherty. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. Doherty's got four points this quarter. The putback. Doherty makes it look so easy. Pass to Pippen. And it's Pippen with the jam. Fundamentally sound right there. Threw it down with two hands. Yep, sweet dunk for him. Beyond the aesthetics, a big two points. Elliott against Armstrong. Elliott passes to Dort. A shot that time, not on target. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. Hexen outside. Pippen a screen. Charity stripe shot. No good from Paxson. That's normally one of his spots. And it was a quality look. Shame to see it go to waste. Offensive rebound. That is good. And the Bulls lead has got down to just three in the basket from Manning. Right now, it's simply the second shots that are killing them. I mean, they've got to do a better job securing the miss after playing solid defense. And it's so deflating giving up a score like that. Work hard to force a miss, and then it's all for nothing. Short. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. And the D got super lucky he didn't drain that one. Elliott kicks to Ainge. There's the pass to Dort. Good ball movement here by the Suns. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Williams. Inside, Hot Rod can be a monster. He's got height and length, but also agility. Michael Jordan on the wing. He's guarded by Williams. Jordan passes to Baxter. Armstrong with it. Shot clock at five. Here's Pippen. It's tipped. An act of seven feet. Doherty can really affect your offense. Here is Elliott. Manning the pass to Doherty. Over Armstrong. And the Suns tack on two more. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Suns. Ainge against Paxson. Pass to Jordan. Shoots from the high post. That one falls, coming off of Paxson's feed. Paxson's got three assists now in this one. The Suns trailing. And the Suns call time here. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. They simply have no answer for him right now. And he's making them pay dearly for it. The Suns making a change here. Smith has checked in. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, guys, over the last break, I listened to Phoenix's coach talk to the team. He told them to stick with it. He said, this game is right here, guys. This is our game to take. Precision, purpose, and poise. Devin, we'll see if they can get it done. Thanks, David. Now, here is Ainge. Goes back up. Doherty plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Doherty's got eight here in the quarter. You know, being in the spotlight doesn't phase Doherty at all. Suns on defense. They lead by one. And the dunk by Jordan. As Quark. Smith outside. It's Williams, high post. Working on Grant. Smith for three. That's a basket. He is eighth from the field. Eight of 14. Two minutes remaining in the game. Armstrong kicks to Jordan. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. Let's it go from 11. It's Chicago with another bucket. 
Yeah, we know Jordan is a master from the mid-range, whether he's squared up or falling away. You feel like it's going to splat. To the paint, here's Jordy, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And this is how you capitalize down the stretch. I mean, the coaching staff has got to be pleased with that. And the game isn't over yet, but that was huge. Let's see if they're able to close it out. Here's Armstrong. And they double up Jordan to the left wing. Armstrong with it. Over Williams. And it's Armstrong missing. A minute 20 left here in the fourth quarter. Great communication on the alley -oop. And the Suns lead by four. Williams getting fired up and getting it done. Delivering the big bucket for his team. And here's Armstrong. Pippen outside. Jordan outside. Just four to shoot. Here's Armstrong. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they foul intentionally. DJ Armstrong. First personal foul. Third team foul. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Doherty in the post. He's guarded by Cartwright, and out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. And so Jordan will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Got it! And he is... And an intentional foul right there. one and that makes it a three-point lead these are the moments Ainge loves embracing being the guy to step up for his team so he goes two for two at the lock and it's a four-point ball game the Suns will go on to win this game 106 104 final score 10 series lead for the Suns as we uh, try to get a nice screenshot for this video that might be a winner already Right off the bat, we got a good one, so that's a that's a good sign. And Suns up 1-0. The seven seed Suns. Are they really gonna do this? Are they really gonna do this? I don't know. Can they pull this off? Bulls game two though. Looks like this won't be a jump worthy game. 109-94. The Bulls do win this game. A 1-1 series tie. Now let's check out game three. This time we are in Phoenix. Uh, for game three, June 3rd, 1993. Almost time for Jurassic Park to come out. I mentioned that in a previous video. Big, big summer for movies <laughs> in 93. Let's jump into this game. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Paxson passes to Grant. Paxson against Edwards. Here's Jordan, and the lead now, double digits on that bucket. Jordan's got 14 points here in the second half. And right now, MJ has it going on. His teammates should just continue to get him the rock. Edwards passes to Mann. Over Grant. Williams trying to break free. Not that one. The Bulls lead has been cut back down to eight after they get the basket from Manning. Michael Jordan on the way. Covered by Smith. Out of bounds. Phoenix takes possession. Grant, he's checked in for the side. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. There's a screen. In the corner, Smith with it. A three ball. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Smith's got nine points now in the quarter. 
such confidence from the competitive guard. Smith is excellent at catching and firing. And Grant now top of the key. Upside Pippen. Jordan high post. And the dunk by Grant. That's where Grant is most active, that offensive glass. And does a nice job using his body to get the position he needs. To the right side. Passed him in. There's Williams. And it's Chicago with the rebound. He's led by as many as 14 points. Jordan down low. Covered by Smith. Cartwright misses. Suns trail by seven. Down low. And it's Smith that time on the assist from Sean Elliott. 19 points for Smith. Known as a jump shooter primarily, Smith is also skilled at getting it done in close. Outside Dippin. Back to Grant. Just three to shoot. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. When Cartwright is on the floor, you have to be aware of him on the offensive boards. Bill's looking for offensive rebounds. Williams, a screen on Jordan. Smith dishes to Williams. A shot missing. And it's Chicago the other way. Pippen feeling it out a bit. Here's Cartwright, and the shot goes down. Cartwright's got four points now in the quarter. Nice job on the interior. Cartwright shoots a high percentage because he takes quality shots. He never forces bad shots. I'm oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. The energy and focus on display. Saw an opportunity to get inside, and they continue to build this lead. Here's Manning. Here's Williams. That one, no good. Some solid defense from Grant. Bulls leading by nine. Pippen outside. And the pass to Jordan. Grant sets a screen for Jordan. Pass to Grant. And he hits space. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. Jordan's got assist number eight here in this one already. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Suns. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. I wonder if switching baskets really threw him off. I mean, because he can't get anything to fall this half. Jordan is double. Passes it to Grant. To the middle. Cartwright gets the bucket. We are not going to watch Horace Grant take that free throw because this game is over. Let's check out the what the final score ends up being via SimCast, 108-97. Michael Jordan with 39 points, Scottie Pippen with 30. And let's jump right into game four, June 5th. I, I, I did some Wikipedia-ing, and yeah, Jurassic Park came out June 11th. It's, it was six days away from the big premiere, which is definitely more important than the, the, these finals. So I just had to mention that. Let's jump into this game. Cast him in. Lock at six. Smith, the pass to Ellie. To tie it up. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Up top, Pippen. That one falls. Coming off of Paxson's speed. Pippen's got 33. Pippen showing you nice agility that time, working around tough defense, able to play through that contact. Puts it up from seven. The rebound by Cartwright. Cartwright's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Armstrong gets the bucket, and it's a seven-point Bulls lead. Boy, outstanding ball movement from Paxson there, showing a willingness to involve his teammates. Mike, they are desperate to find a basket. 
Hmm, they're having a really hard time out there. You're right. Here's Manning. No good on that one. Some solid defense from Grant. Bulls leading by seven. Passes to Kirk. Some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Grant, that's good. Boy, that's an important basket adding to the lead as this game winds towards the finish. Trying to secure the win, they've raised their level of play in this final period. Now here's Jordy. Back to Ainge. The pass to Man. Here is Elliott. From the arc. Jackson pulls it in. The defense has to feel fortunate with that miss. He's not usually the guy you want to leave open from downtown. Out to the right wing. Yeah, you know, he takes the hit, but looks like he didn't get his feet set in time. Yeah, I think there was some movement at the point of contact. And Phoenix making a change. Williams is checked in. Back to Grant. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range, they get the rebound. Cartwright gets the bucket. When Cartwright is on the floor, you have to be aware of him on the offensive boards. Bill's looking for offensive rebounds. Jordy with the screen on Jackson. Count the basket. Smith's got seven points here in this quarter. He has a particular set of skills that they're very fun to watch. Armstrong passes to Kirk. Pass to Armstrong. It's Pippen on the wing. Covered by Elliott. Pippen can't hit. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Elliott against Armstrong. Ames the pass to Dort. Shoots over Grant, and it will go, and the Bulls' lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Dort. Pounding the rock with Dort. It's a winning formula. And another great look at the 2K drop. Trying to close the gap, it's going to hinge on plays like this one, creating high percentage looks inside. Spins. Grant with a screen on Elliott. And Jen shot, and it's finished off by Grant as he lays it in. And the Bulls lead by nine. Just a touch more aggression on the defensive glass, and that could have been prevented. Yeah, they've got to get physical if they want to prevent those second-chance looks. Here's Ainge, and the Suns tack on two more. We've seen Ainge knock down trays. So the mid-range jumper... It's there if Danny wants it. Chicago calls timeout. Good timeout call right there. Looked like the guys were gassed. Heavy legs out there for sure. Looks like the Bulls are pulling away. Let's simcast just to be sure. Let's see if the Suns can come back via simcast. And, oh, wow. Yeah, they did. Let's go back to this game. One thirty-six left to play here in the fourth. Jordan against Williams. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. In crunch shot, everyone knows the ball is going to Michael Jordan. And an important part of every team's game. The look at the hustle stats for the Suns. free throw is good and that makes it a three-point lead what separates Jordan from others in my mind is his singular focus nothing comes between him and the ultimate goal of winning the game Elliott's checked in for Phoenix second one is good in both at the line and it's a four-point ball game 
when the game is tight, he is the guy who they want at the strike. Someone who consistently makes his free throw. Ainge against Paxson. Here is Elliott. Second shot opportunity. That was the nice layup by Doherty. Doherty's got six points in the quarter. This is what I tell people. You can count on him. Doherty never flinches. Ops it up for Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. How about that intensity that Jordan brings? I mean, this dude comes alive during crucial parts of the game. Ainge against Paxson. Ainge the pass to Elliott. Paxson against Ainge. Shot clock at six. Shoots from the line. Elliott misses. Well, we've seen him make this shot often with no defensive cover. That's going to do it for this game. The Bulls will hold on to win. 113-107. 33 points for Scottie Pippen, 31 for Michael Jordan. And where are we at with the with the series as I check uh, plus minus? Is that what I'm doing here? Plus minus nine, plus nine for, for Jordan in this game. I don't know why I had to look at that. But, yeah, 3-1 series D for the Bulls. So they are in the driver's seat. They can feel a little bit comfortable, but not too comfortable because you just never know with the Suns. So let's uh, check out the SimCast for game five right that's where we're at and the suns and the bulls this could be a close game a jump worthy game nah suns win 123 112 now game six let's see if uh i feel like we have, we have another jump worthy game going uh jump worthy game uh oh it's june 11th by the way it's june 11th let's see if the bulls can win and if they can win, they can all go see Jurassic Park afterwards. Big, big opportunity for them right now. Here's Manny. He's covered by Grant. The jump hook. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Outside Pippen. Up top, Batson. Back to Pippen. Grant sets a screen for Pippen. Phoenix grabs the miss. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. This is it to Ainge. Pass to Manning. Shoots over Grant. And again, it's the Suns missing. And he knows he's got to convert in these situations. No excuse given the limited defense. Suns trail by nine. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Elliott against Jordan. Jordy with the screen on Jordan. Shot clock at six. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Jordan's running. Second chance shot. Good. That's another bucket. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Chicago. Phoenix has gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Ainge against Paxson. Shoots from the elbow. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. And the dunk by Grant. This is the winning mindset Jordan brings to his team. Enjoys feeding his open teammates. On the wing, Williams. Here's Manning. He's covered by Grant. And he says, you know what? I certainly wish I could get up like him. Man, oh man. You did. I saw it with my own eyes. Wouldn't it be great, Clark, to be young again? Huh? It would be wonderful, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, speak for yourselves. Here's Pippen. After the Suns pick up two. Pippen's so creative at drawing fouls. Just baits the defender. First free throw is good. I think what you most appreciate about Pippen, at least I do, is his versatility. I mean, he scores it, he rebounds, he passes, and he defends at a really high level. And the Suns making a change here. Smith has checked in. And he 
and both free throws good for Pippen. So it's Phoenix now trailing by 13. It's Williams high post. Pass to Elliott. Ains with the ball over Paxson. They grab their own miss. The shot's good from Ains. Tremendous effort by Ains to get in there for the board and get a shot back up. Ains against Paxson. Pippen outside. How good on the three. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. 11-point game. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Jordan with it. Now Smith defending. Jordan, the bounce pass. Pippen feeling it out a bit. We're going to watch Scottie Pippen make this shot right here and then fast forward closer to the celebration. Game on. Yeah, a real balanced attack. Total team effort. Here's Jordan. Connects again. Jordan. They've done a phenomenal job silencing this crowd. Now the win clearly in their sights. Great performance on the road. This will help build their chemistry as well. Ainge kicks to Williams. Here's Doherty. Tries again. Chicago grabs the miss. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 16-6 run. Michael Jordan on the wing, covered by Smith. On the wing, Jordan. Oh, and it's over. The Chicago Bulls are the new NBA champions. Thanks again, folks, for coming out and supporting your basketball Oh, to be crowned a champion on the road is something else. To win and to do it with a crowd that was so emotional and so into this game, you've beaten the team and you've conquered everything that this great arena holds. Yeah, it's a bittersweet moment for the home crowd. But all full credit to the visitors and the amazing job they did to never lose focus or drive. And boy, this is the moment they've been working towards all season long. And even if they don't get to celebrate in front of their home fans, that does not take anything away from the satisfaction. Now, let's take you to the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy. NBA commissioner doing the honors. Fun to see Rolando Blackman celebrating with the Bulls. He, of course, won his first championship with the, De the Dallas Mavericks in 87 in this sim. So he's a two-time champion, as are most of these Bulls players because they were on this team last season. So Michael Jordan is a two-time champion, a two-time finals MVP. Uh, so, you know, he's really racking up the, the accolades for himself at this point, trying to, you know, stake his claim as one of the all-time greats. You know, we had in this sim we had saw we had seen Charles Barkley win a ring. We saw Clyde Drexler win a ring. So like all these guys who are, you know, Jordan's contemporaries winning rings before him, but now he has two. They still have one. So he he's he's you know he's really starting to you know make a name for himself. I guess you would say, even though that's obviously he's making a name for himself. Uh, and also, I want to note that Danny Ainge, Danny Ainge has made six finals, by the way. Six. He's won three. His teams have won three, and he's made six total. That's that's pretty wild because, you know, he's on. he's been on the Suns. They made it to two straight finals. So I thought that was worth mentioning. Uh, yeah. So what, what, what do we want to see before we get into uh, player retirement and such? Um, yeah, if you're curious, if you haven't been paying attention, uh, these are the MVPs since uh, of the last couple of years. Rookie of the Year. Shaq won it this year. Uh, Sixth Man of the Year. Benoit Benjamin, two-time Sixth Man of the Year. I didn't know that. Um, Dennis Rodman won Defensive Player of the Year. Hakeem Olajuwon won it way too many times in a row. I shouldn't have let that happen. But, uh, you know, it's hard to know whether or not someone actually was Defensive Player of the Year unless you watch all their games, right? So not much you could do there. Most Improved Player... All NBA first teams, you can see all those too. Second team, all defensive teams, they're all here. But yeah, so in case you were curious, there's that total points. Uh, 
I, I mentioned this before, but Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, his total points aren't what they are in real life because uh, 2K retired him in 87. I brought him back for 88 and 89, but I couldn't use his uh, actual stat. Like he, I, I used a generic and imported Kareem into a generic for those last two years of his career, but otherwise those numbers are from... Uh, when he retired in 87. I hope that makes sense. But uh, yeah, what's interesting But the total points is that Magic Johnson's points have gotten higher because he um, he's played these last couple of seasons. Purvis Short. Uh, there's a lot of guys who, because they didn't retire until a couple of seasons after they actually retired, they ended up having higher total points than maybe they had in, in, in real life. So that's, that's kind of cool to see, especially Magic Johnson being so high up there. Three-pointers made... This is a significant because uh, all these players we've seen get drafted. So this is a fairly, you know, a, this is a pretty, fairly relevant stat, right? Reggie Miller being first place. All these guys on this list are guys that are currently in the lay in the, in the league or at, have played in this sim for 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 quite some time. So it's kind of cool to see that Reggie Miller in first place there. Daryl Dawkins, Adrian Dantley, Moses Malone, Bernard King, Jerry Sisting, James Donaldson have retired. There's some big names, big names, some NBA champions in there, right? Malone, uh, Donaldson won a championship with the Mavericks. Sisting might have won a championship with the Celtics. I don't know, actually, if that happened. Uh, but yeah, so Alton Lister, Dave Greenwood, Phil Hubbard, Mike Woodson. Mike Woodson finally retired. I, th I don't think he's played for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, last time he had significant minutes was in 1991. Clint, Richard, Clint Richardson, Kurt Rambis. Rambis retires as a Laker. That's that's fun to see. Never really did much in this sim. Uh, Lester Connor, Elston Turner, Craig Hodges. Craig Hodges had some nice years with the Bucks and the Spurs and then the Bulls. Hall of Fame inductees. I thought this was controversial. Moses Malone and Danley are in, as you'd expect, but no Bernard King. Bernard King gets his jersey retired um, as a Nick. That's, that's actually really cool. And Moses Malone gets just retired as a Sixer, but uh, but our King doesn't go to the Hall of Fame. That's uh, what the hell? What the, what the hell is all that all about? Historical changes: the Bucks, the Mavericks, and the Nuggets logos, uniforms, and court are going to be different. There, uh, no new rules have have changed. No, no, nothing, no, nothing significant there in the, in the league meetings. But uh, now we are going to move on to the draft lottery. This is a big one. You got Chris Webber, you got Penny uh, Penny Hardaway, uh, among others, in this draft. So let's see who wins this lottery. Who's going to get Webber? Who's going to get Hardaway? Uh, as you see the odds here. Important thing to note: the Milwaukee Bucks has Boston's draft pick because of the Sidney Moncrief trade from a couple of seasons ago. So. And Boston is slated to have the fifth pick, percentage-wise. They have the odds to get the fifth pick, so we'll see if that happens. Sonics get the 11th pick. Nuggets get the 10th pick. Both these teams, are they've just barely missed the playoffs. Hopefully they can draft somebody this season that can help them take them over the hump. Meanwhile, the Blazers end up with the ninth pick because uh, of the Kiki Vandeweghe trade. They, they traded Kiki to Cleveland and got back – the Cavaliers trade. I think it was top three protected, and Cavaliers did not end up with the top three pick, so it goes to the Blazers. Hornets end up with the eighth pick. They had a pretty good season for an expansion team. I think they won, did they win 30, 31 games or something like that? Uh, 35 games, maybe? They, they, had a, they had a decent season. The Heat are right behind them with the seventh pick. Both those teams are starting to uh, trend upwards, so nice to see that but uh, also they're not going to get that great of a pick so i don't know we'll see how we'll see how that shakes out for them meanwhile the warriors get the sixth pick they they, they were quite bad this season uh, so yeah that uh that 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 checks out meanwhile the milwaukee bucks will not get the fifth pick that's going to go to the 76ers the 76ers with the fifth pick and the bucks have moved up to the top three Top three in this draft, which is very, very interesting. Magic, meanwhile, do retain the fourth pick, as they were expected. So Magic with the fourth pick. They selected Chris Smith. I forgot about that. I completely forgot about who they drafted last in, in 92. 
Um, top three. Let's see who's going to get uh, pick number three. That's going to go to the Minnesota Timberwolves, who once again cannot get the first pick to save their lives. I, I <laughs> they suck every year, and they still can't get the number one pick. I don't understand it. But, uh, hey, the lottery is the lottery. Milwaukee is going to end up with the second pick. And that's significant. If you know, you, you got, I mean, I, okay, it's Penny Hardaway, right? That's what we, you're thinking it, I'm thinking it. Meanwhile, the Clippers are going to end up with the first pick. And it's, I mean, it's clear. Chris Webber to the Clippers, Penny Hardaway to the Bucks. That, but that sounds like a great deal to me. So, uh, we have to have, we have to have that happen. If we're this close to getting Penny to the Bucks, Penny and Shaq, we got it. We got to make it happen. So I'm excited for this. <laughs> Was not thinking this would happen with that Sidney Moncrief trade. You know, I the Celtics had showed no signs, uh, other than the fact that they were old. They showed no signs that they were going to be bad enough to end up with the second pick of the draft in 1993. So I def I was not listen. I didn't when that trade happened. Um, we didn't even know Shaq was going to make be on the Bucks, right? So just completely, what a, what a, what a crazy turn of events for this sim as we go to the draft itself. Let's see how this shakes out. We have a good idea what the top two is going to be. Yes, Chris Webber going to go to the Clippers. That's a really nice pickup for them. I'm hoping he can help turn things around for them uh, and and be a franchise player for the Clippers. Maybe get to maybe he. Plays his entire career there, gets a number retired there. I don't know. Maybe he gets him to the playoffs a couple of times. Penny Hardaway to the Bucks. We're gonna get Penny and Shaq. We're gonna get Penny and Shaq. <laughs> so awesome! I cannot wait for this. I cannot wait for you guys to see this. This is gonna be a fun couple of seasons, right? I mean, I'm gonna. I want Penny and Shaq to last longer than they did in real life. I'm just gonna say that right now. I want this to, to be a thing at least through the 90s. We'll see where they're at. We'll, we'll, we'll see where they're at in 1999, right? Let's give them a, like a solid block of seasons together and see what they can accomplish because that's, that's incredible. I, I'm so happy about this. Um, I did not know this was going to be a thing that could happen, but I'm glad it did. And they're going to be wearing the, their, their new uniforms. Uh, those uniforms are actually pretty awesome. The, 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 those mid to late nineties, early two thousands uniforms. Uh, actually they were, they wore those for a while, right? They wore those until like through the, did they wear those uniforms to the two thousands? I think they did. So that is cool. Timberwolves, meanwhile, I'll select Allen Houston. Very nice pick. Very nice pick for them. Allen Houston. Uh, they do have blue Edwards, but, um, I I think Allen Houston is a better player than Blue Edwards, so I think uh, that's a good pickup. A good pickup for them. Magic select so like Jamal Mashburn, which is a finally, finally. I mean, they did pick Larry Johnson in '91, but this is this is finally an a, an actual pick that could help Larry Johnson. So I'm happy about that. Vin Baker, Vin Baker goes to the Sixers. Uh, Vin Baker made a couple of All Star games in in the '90s. We'll see if he can replicate that or do even better. With the Sixers, Isaiah Ryder to the Warriors. He 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 had a notable career for a couple of seasons, uh, so that that's kind of cool to see him on the, uh, go to the Warriors. Rodney Rogers to the Heat. He's actually a pretty solid player. That's a pretty solid pickup. The Heat always managed to get some really nice power forwards. I don't know what it is about them. Calvert Chaney is going to go to the Hornets. I I. I feel like he used to play for the Blitz slash Wizards back in the day. Sean Bradley to the Blazers. This I did not like. They have Dino Raja. There's absolutely no need for this unless they're going to trade the pick. And if you're going to trade the pick, I mean, I guess Sean Bradley has value to somebody. But, uh, yeah, that's not the best pick, in my opinion. Casey Sims to the Nuggets. That screams generic to me, but I'm not sure. Nick Van Axel to the Sonics. That could be interesting. They have a couple of point guards still right now. They're kind of stocked. They're kind of loaded up point guard. So I don't think he's going to stay there for very long because Abdul Ralph. I mean, Nick Van Axel, I, I looked it up. Nick Van Axel started like year one. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to start year one in this sim, but uh, we'll try to find a home for him so he can flourish. Brian Russell to the Hawks. He's a notable player. 
uh, played for the Jazz in real life. They're, they're, right? Right? That's the same guy. I'm thinking that's the same guy. Lindsey Hunter to the Bucks. Sam Cassell to the Suns. That's a big one. That is huge. There's a lot of nice players in this draft, guys. A lot of nice players. Sam Cassell uh, to the to the Suns. I mean, you think about it. They have Danny Ainge right now. He's getting old. He'd be the perfect like uh, replacement point guard for, uh, there in, in Phoenix. So that, that's exciting. George Lynch to the Wolves. Who else we got? This is a really good draft. George Murison. George Murison. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. So the Blazers have a seven foot six guy and a seven foot seven guy. That's that's insane. Uh, the, <laughs> what? Why? Cecil Henderson drafted to the goes goes to the Knicks. Do we have anybody else good? Anybody else of note? Terry to here. Corey Sampson. Is that Ralph Sampson's brother? Russ Russ Vincent. Kelgen Barrett. That feels like a generic. Pete Goodwillie. Is Kelgen Barrett R.G. Barrett's dad, actually? I don't know. I have to look. I'm going to look that up. I'm going to look that up and, and, and tell you right now. Do I have enough time? All right. Edmund Stevens. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I, I, I don't think it's right. What's R.J. Barrett's dad's name? I'm going to look this up. R.J. Barrett play, right? R.J. Barrett, his dad played basketball, right? Because that's why Steve Nash is his godfather or something like that, right? Let me just look this up really quick. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Born. I'm looking up Wikipedia right now. No, RJ Barrett's father is Rowan Barrett. When did he play basketball? How much time do I have left? Uh, okay, I have a minute. Yeah, check out the draft summary. Blah, 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 blah. So, Rowan Barrett, 1972. He went undrafted in 96. Should I just turn Kelgen Barrett to Rowan Barrett? <laughs> I mean, we're a couple of years early, but this is a generic, basically. Uh, Kelgen Barrett isn't real. I might just turn this into RJ Barrett's dad. <laughs> Why not? Uh, unless he's in the 96 uh, draft class, uh, but I don't know. That might be something that I end up doing. Thank you very much for watching. Listen, guys, the next episode is the 100th episode. Instead of uh, jumping into the 94 season, uh, we're going to look back. We're going to look back at the first 10 years. Uh, take a look at, compare the teams in the sim with teams in real life. Check out the playoff brackets. We're just going to be doing a retrospective of the, of the first 10 years, first 10 seasons of the sim for the 100th episode. So I hope you're looking forward to that. And then we're going to get right into the 94 season. Penny and Shaq and all that stuff. Going to be a lot of fun. So many, so much good stuff up to come for the 40-year sim. Goodbye.